So my friend said, hey, you wanna come check this crazy thing out? It might be good for the internet. I said, well, come along. Let's get to fixing. First thing we'll do is get up in here and we'll shut the water down. All right, got some PEX B rolling through here. A little access panel inside of here for a water shut off. All right, so this particular valve is aqua source, water shut off, and can't take this handle off and then take this off. This actually just unscrews right here. So you gotta grab a knife, go around the escutcheon plate, get a little bit of that peeled, grab our Knipex pliers. Still not used to all these settings, right? Okay, and that rolling. Put a little towel down here or something, just because we might get a little bit of water. I bought a different aqua source that was not it, and we don't have anything like this. I'm gonna have to go back to the store and see what we got going on here. So we're gonna pop this cover back on here while we have this off. I just want to pop that back on and we're actually going to try these valves, both of them. We're going to shut them off, turn them back on, make sure there's no kind of debris in there. All right. Cause I don't want something to be getting stuck on the back side of this and having an issue. I don't think that's the case, but better safe than sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're setting good here. So check this out. I'm not a fan of 3 8 packs in there, right? Like that is just a bummer. I always hate whenever they put those manifolds in and they have the 3 8 running everywhere. Not my favorite. Crazy to me that this is just Glacier Bay. I mean, maybe they're Aquasaurus in Glacier Bay. Same scenario. Somebody let me know this because really this is the cartridge. Hold on. They give you a little how-to inside here. Doesn't say a lick about it, so that's a bummer. Thank you, Danco, because it's the only one I can find. So check it out. Pretty much similar, except for this ring right here. This is just a, a different design of anti-scold. This little red knob, right? You can turn it to make the water hotter or notter. There's no small children, but if you did want to turn it down, you always could, right? And then that limits how far this valve opens and closes. See that plus minus right there. We'll just go all the way to the plus. So I wanna put a little something around this O-ring and around this gasket right here. I recently ended up buying another tube of Super Lube, all right? Not gonna use tons. A little dab will do you with this stuff. Just right around the O-ring. A little touch right on the top of this. Get this right here popped in place. It only goes in one way. So if we zoom in, we got a little red, a little blue, kind of lets you know that you're in the right way. This O-ring right here, we're actually gonna pop that off real quick. Why not clean this off and lube it up too? Take your discussion, screw that back on. Get this bad boy tightened back now. So if you thread your handle back on, it's gonna make it so much easier to open this valve. Grabbing those spines, they are really hard and it can be pretty hard for you. So it took me a second to understand this. If I had this one open, no water was gonna come out until I opened this one up. And that was part of the pressure balancing, right? So if I shut this one down, I'm going to get nothing, almost nothing out because it's pressure balancing. This is all the way to hot, but the second I open up this cold side, well, now we get full water. That is part of the pressure balancing part of this valve. Okay, there's nothing underneath here leaking. 
So another thing is when you turn these valves back on, make sure when you turn them all the way, make sure you go back a quarter of a turn or so, just to make sure that these valves don't get stuck in the open position and they become really hard to shut off. Okay, these actually work really well and they shut off pretty easy. So I really think our issue is fixed here. We'll go ahead, we'll get all this cleaned up. We've tested this a couple times and now we're gonna put this back together. All right, so I guess the moment of truth here, let's just start trying it. So something in this pressure balancing cartridge failed and we'll take this home and pull it apart, see if we can find any anomalies in there that were making this thing go crazy on the water hammer. As far as I can tell, there is no more issue. Last thing we'll do is we'll take some white silicone, so last thing we'll do is take some white siliconized acrylic caulk, put it around here, let her dry, good to go. Get all those watermarks off of there. All right, folks, so this was a weird little setup for me. Aquasource valve with a Glacier Bay cartridge. All right, weird, and it took three stores to find that pressure balancing valve. Like, I, am <laughs> I was starting to be at a loss, but we got it hooked up, the job's done, neighbors are happy, friends happy, we're good to rock and roll. I really hope you folks are enjoying the videos. Please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.